It is a race against time as the political class takes advantage of the official campaign window to advance their agenda ahead of the August 8th general elections. But behind the display lies a footprint with a potential to create an environmental nightmare. In other jurisdictions uh, where I've happened to be, then you have designated places where you can do your posters. They even regulate what kind of adhesion you would want to apply uh, so that then you don't stick on it and then you don't also spoil. But Kenya, Kenya has not come to that ex extent, I think. It's open for everybody, unless you have somewhere where you write, people write no posters, but then you still find some of them there. Campaign posters. Most of the country has been painted with faces of aspirants from diverse political affiliations, as well as independent candidates, with each battling to occupy vantage positions, perhaps with the thought that the strategy will win them more votes. All the years that I have run for any office, uh, I have had to do posters. Any, any politician, any aspirant, any candidate must do posters. Easy posters on the society, hi-fi, you want to chafua mji. Kwa hivyo ya fawa hede, tukono media nyingi sana. Kwa hivyo ya wanaenda hede, wadifatize huko. Even after some of the aspirants lost during the political party's primaries, the posters still stand in complete disregard of a directive by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission that rested an onus of pulling them down on respective aspirants. I am not, am I even sure? I don't think the, 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 the politicians are aware of what posters, the, 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 the offenses and the penalties. To us, really, that is a, is a big uh, 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 headache in how to make sure that we restore those spaces to what they were initially. And with the Constitution according every Kenyan a clean and healthy environment and responsibility to keep it clean, then when did the rain start beating us? Because you see, if you have a poster that has been there for years, really, it doesn't look good to the eye. The National Environmental Management Authority says that they are working with county administrations to ensure that the laws touching on campaign materials are observed. So at the moment we are still working uh, with counties because you know that uh, waste management itself is the one major problem uh, that all our 47 counties are grappling with. But even as those tasked with the responsibility of ensuring that the environment we live in is habitable talk tough, Currently we are in a, in a process of uh, coming up with particular fines that will be levied against those individuals in, and that is in collaboration with the National Environmental Management Authority. Whether the hard talk will produce tangible results, only time will tell. This is an institution and there is, uh, what we can see here uh, is just uh, like a uh, rubbish. Yeah. Because some, some of the politicians who are there, they have, uh, it was a nomination time. And they have not yet removed. So, and it creates a very bad picture in the, in the city. There you have it. It's all painted in black and white. As you can see behind me, the impact the posters has not only on the environment, but on business owners as well. It has become a challenge for them to take down the posters that are put up on their wall that shouldn't be there in the first place. Something needs to be done to save our city from this problem. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Laura Dubai.